Hey guys and welcome back to part 2 of your ninth Java tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over the increment operators in Java. So if you guys remember from our last video we went over the basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, the modulus, and all that good stuff. So if you haven't watched it already go back and watch it before you watch this one. So anyway to get started just a quick explanation of what the increment operators in Java are. They're basically two functions, one to add one to a variable or a value, and another one to subtract one. And that's all they do, but it's actually really useful because it saves you a lot of typing. Because a lot of times in programming you do what's called the counter, that's basically what they're mostly used for, and you guys will see that later when we work on loops and stuff. So anyways, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of this, I don't need that anymore. I'll change this to num1, and we don't need either of these values anymore. So I'll just get rid of them. Save a little space. So, basically the way it works is... I'll just clean this up a little bit. There we go. Anyways, so let's say we wanted to add 1 to num1. All we would have to do is type... Actually, I'll show you what we had to do before. Before, when we wanted to add 1 to num1, we had to go num1 is equal to the current value of number one plus one and that works just fine Let's try that again that works just fine but sometimes it can be a lot of typing and it gets really annoying and actually when you make a for loop you actually have to use the increment operator so you might as well learn it anyways so you can add one to it that way but there's an easier way to do it instead of typing all that out if i can actually highlight what i want to there we go. You just have to go plus plus. So two plus symbols equals plus one in Java. So you hit run, we get four. Now, there's a few rules to go along with this. Let's say we wanted to put it in here and we put it in front of num1. We're fine. It's going to print out four like we'd expect. But if we take the two plus symbols and we put it after num1, it's still going to add one to it. But it's only going to do it after it prints out the value of num1. So if I print this out here and I take these out, we're going to print the value of num1 out twice. But the first time it prints it, it's only going to print a 3, but the second time it's going to print a 4. See, 3, 4. And the reason for this is because when Java reads this, it reads, okay, so you want me to print something out. So I'm going to print the value of num1, and now I'm going to add 1 to it. Instead of the way we had it before, where we had the plus plus in front, it would say, okay, I have to add 1 to the value of num1, and now I'm going to print it out. So that's actually very important. So every time you guys use this, you have to consider whether or not you want Java to carry out the operation before or after you use the current value. So it's just something to keep in mind. And we could also do the same thing with the subtraction. So minus minus, we'll just subtract 1 from the value, and we'll get a 3 and then a 2 for the output because we put the subtraction symbols after the value of num1. So anyways guys, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you guys stick with me and check out part 3 of this tutorial coming up next. So anyways guys, thanks for watching, until next time, stay frosty.